So someone asked me if I could build microsauce from scratch to production and I said sure, why not? So this video will be just that. I'm going to first find an idea, then I'm going to design and build it, then I'm going to go over how I'm planning to market and get my first dollar from this microsauce. So let's get started. The first step is finding the idea. What I like to do is a bit different from everyone else, but I think it's kind of the right way, especially if you don't want to waste your time on building something that no one will buy, which is first starting with the problem, which is just finding out the problems that people have. One way I like to do it is searching through Reddit, Wikipedia, and all these other social platforms. But another like easier way is if you go on Exploding Insights, and if you use the free marketing tool generator, you just put in like the person or group of people that you're trying to sell to, or your, or your startup idea, then it'll generate a bunch of tool ideas, right? And I put it in and basically one of the ideas is this competitor analysis tool, which is a tool that will analyze your competitors. So that's, that's the idea essentially. But here is the important part, which is what is the problem that this tool is solving, which is it addresses the challenge of understanding competition for entrepreneurs who lack resources to conduct thorough research, right? It's basically people that don't have enough time to do market research, this tool should do all the market research and competitor analysis for them. So that's the idea, right? First, we found the problem. Then we came up with the tool or product that will solve that problem, either through saving them time or making money. Next is the design. So one way you can do it is like you can design the mockup on Figma. But one of the like tools that I've been testing, this is paid. You don't have to use it, but I'm experimenting with V0. I have this prompt I've been testing. I'm not sure if it helps or not, but basically it's like this prompt that I think someone shared on Twitter, which makes the LLM smarter. I'm I'm yet to see if it's actually better, but always testing new stuff. I want to create a side-by-side -side comparison where someone puts in their landing page and we generate a competitor analysis report for them. So, <clears throat> And then I also like to make it beautiful. I should probably test this actually makes a difference, but it's a why not offer since it's short. So it's generating the landing page. Honestly, you probably don't need this step if you want to ship faster, but I'm showing how to design the user experience after you have the idea, right? So basically the idea is since we're trying to build this tool that allows us to do competitor research, basically the person will put in their landing page and then after they click on analyze, it should generate like a report and the way that we would monetize is basically like they get a free report, but then if they want a premium version, they can pay like $20. So that's the idea. We do a random site and see if it works. Yeah, so it's, it made this. Yeah, I mean, the design's okay. Just a small thing. I've made a similar product before, which is, it's, it was called Roast Bueno. And basically it made like these designs where it roasted your landing page. So let me just tell it to improve the design of this. So this is a small tip. If you already have a design, you can give it to like the AI just tell it to improve it. I use this layout where we have the roast or improvement on the right hand side. While it's doing that, I just want to quickly show you guys how this was the site I'm not working on anymore, but I'm, I made it two years ago and it's the simplest flow, right? You put in your landing page, click on access my report and it bring, brings you Stripe. When I launched, it was simple. No user login, there was no actual payment. It was just like a checkout link to Stripe. And then what happened was I got around 10 to 20 customers. And after they paid, I would just manually email them. So this is like for the people that think like you need this like really complicated or complex like solution when launching, like literally all you need is like a landing page with a link to Stripe. And then after they pay, you can give, give the person their product. This made money and you can see that this is literally a like above the fold landing page with like no extra details except this like video plus this like little input form. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that on how you can like ship products really fast that that can make money. So yeah, this is like the landing page it made. Let's see if it's better. So it has this component and let's put in a sample URL and see if it can generate the UI. It's pretty good. It has drop downs, which I really like. We can have a screenshot of their website here and then give them competitor analysis of people in their niche. This design and UX is not bad, not bad at all. Let's start working on this. This design phase is done, which is basically just getting a rough design, like rough view on how you want to design it. Then you have an idea of the user experience. So <clears throat> let's move on to the actual phase where we code this product. I'm in my app. This is Django. It might be different if 
you're working in a different stack, but like the process should be the same, right? So we have the design and give it to Claude. We're not Claude cursor. And we tell it to create a page mirrors this, mirrors this design image and use view. Yeah, so we have this prompt here. One small thing I do is I like to just like paste in like a template of whatever stack I'm using. So I'm using Django and Vue. So I just have like this little code snippet that I use for every new page. It, it saves a lot of time. You can paste this in here and then it will kind of like edit this and make sure that it's in like the proper format when writing new code. Give it a second to generate. I think this drop down feature is actually a pretty, really, really nice UI or user experience because like you might have like a lot of different components like marketing, um, pricing, and um, having like this drop down. It reduces the total text on the page so i actually really like that um but yeah let's 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 refresh so this is on port uh 0887 and the page that i title with is reviewer so yeah let's see oops this is the wrong port 807 all right this should work all right so the auth was not done so i don't know do you guys like want to see me debug the code all right, I mean, this is probably not the best. All right, so I've edited it just so that we're, we save some time. All right, so <clears throat> the page is up and running. The dropdown stuff is working. Let me tell it to add dummy social proof. So yeah, uh, you guys can see that um, the the dropdowns are working, but the um, design is not the same. We should tell it to um, do the half split like the picture. Sometimes if it doesn't follow the design, it just put in the image again and that will do the trick yeah split it in half basically you play around with the front end until it looks like you want it. but the main part is releasing it and marketing it after it finishes i'll tell you how i plan to market it let's refresh the page and see what the design looks like <clears throat> the design got worse i think there's random white this is fine there's no text here i cannot figure out why this is not making it two columns but we have the input now i told it to make the design look exactly like the image and it made this like input field so after you have the input field it generates a drop down so the drop down works i'll like figure out like why this column's not working on my own time but yeah that's the process i went to the gym and came back and i finally fixed it this is probably a good lesson on how to not waste your times on the small things that don't matter i i got it in the two columns so let me show you the prompting it was this is only in one column and then i told it to change it so that it's two columns side by side, it finally fixed it. So now we have the image here plus all the drop downs. I just want to show how you can make this a paid product. I'm probably I'm going to keep it free just to use it as like a source of traffic for exploring insights. But let's say you wanted to make this into a standalone product. What you can do is just say, I want a premium version of this product that is paywalled implemented. And then you can just see like the ideas that Claude gives, gives you on how you can make it like a premium version. So right now, it, I think it's, it's decent. Some of the other tabs don't have content, but this is what it should look like, where you have a general topic. It gives you suggestions how to improve it. Typically, I like to do is I'll just like type in, type in the cursor to tell it to implement something. And then I'll just like make the changes. And then I, I will look at the changes and then see if I need to correct it. I think this is a lot faster than like just reading through a code because sometimes it's not clear on what it changes honestly it's probably not best practice either where you're just like randomly applying the changes but for front end front end changes i think this is fine for for back end changes i would say probably try to understand like what the ai is changing but for front end it's just making the front end design changes and then you kind of see so yeah this is good so you see that like we have these three free options and then there is like a clear indication that this is premium and then you can upgrade to premium because you can link it to your stripe payment or stripe paddle or whatever payment processor you want and then you click on that and then it would basically i think take the person to the checkout after they check out you just like redirect them to a pdf that has all of the premium report so that's like the entire flow so yeah glad we could get the design working see you guys later